All right, wouldn't know they're American, but President Obama blasted American-based international corporations as tax cheats. And he's launching a big tax hike on all of them. Here now to discuss and debate, Sam Bezik, contributor, former Labor Secretary Robert Reich, author of Super Capitalism, and Dan Mitchell, senior fellow at the Cato Institute. Dan Mitchell, are these guys operating offshore, a bunch of criminals? Are they going to be jailed? What's going to happen here? We're going to see a big competitive disadvantage for American companies. Obama calls these loopholes, but let's actually look at the facts. When a U.S. company competes for business in Ireland, the Irish government taxes all that income. What Obama is saying, he then wants the IRS to be able to immediately tax that income a second time. And because the U.S. corporate tax rate is so high by world standards, we are going to be alone among all countries in the world shooting ourselves in the foot and making it harder for our companies to compete abroad. And that means fewer exports from America and fewer jobs in America. This is a spectacularly misguided proposal. Spectacularly misguided, Robert Reich. <laughs> I don't think it's spectacularly misguided at all, uh, Dan and Larry. First of all, a congressional uh, study recently found that 83 out of 100 major American corporations had subsidiaries in tax havens. I remember we're talking about Bermuda the British Virgin Islands. There's not a lot of earning going on there, but uh, a lot of these companies push their earnings there. They inflate their earnings there because they are tax havens. Uh, in fact, another study recently showed that one out of five big American companies uh, two years ago had no income taxes at all because of all of this uh, gaming of the system. I mean, if you want to reduce well, corporate income taxes directly, that's fine, but don't have companies hire huge numbers of expensive lawyers well, and game the do, system and put them put their, think, their profits in these places. Well, all right, but uh, Dan Mitchell, Bob Rice didn't cite another study by the OECD, which I think we're going to put on the full screen, that shows we have the highest tax rates along with Japan. Japan hasn't grown in I don't know how long. U.S. 35 percent. That's federal, by the way. Tack on 5 percent. And uh, you'd... Uh, France, 34 and a half. Belgium, I don't understand Japan at 30. That isn't correct. Uh, Japan's is at th uh, just as high as ours at 40 percent. So, Dan Mitchell, talk to me about this tax haven argument. Obama really uh, hyperventilated about that today. And I don't know, I guess all our big CEOs are just criminals. Well, first thing to understand is that all politicians hate tax havens. Why? because politicians want government to behave like a monopoly or an oligopoly when you're talking about like the G20 and a bunch of politicians getting together in a room. Politicians do not want tax competition. They want to shut down the tax havens. Imagine if you're governor of Massachusetts. You would love to shut down New Hampshire because it's competition. Schwarzenegger would love to shut down Nevada because it's competition. All that's happening is the same thing on an international level. The U.S. and France and Germany and other high-tax countries want to go after tax havens in general. And then specifically on this proposal, Obama and the rest of the collectivists on the left hate tax havens because they're outposts of freedom that make it easier for American <laughs> companies to compete around the world. We should want American Robert companies Reich, to compete. Robert free to choose. Well, free I think I, that's, that's, that's a very, very silly argument. I mean, look, at I like, I like Bermuda. I like going to Bermuda. I haven't been there all that often. And the British Virgin Islands and other places, they're very nice places. But American corporations clearly are using post office boxes in these places to shelter income. I mean, everybody knows it's the oldest game in the world. If you want to reduce corporate income tax in America, uh, let's have a debate about that. Why that. didn't Let's not we? have Why a debate about Obama whether they should be doing this kind of gaming this is stuff. The, this is the key point. By the way, that table we put on the full screen is not right because Japan is up with us at 40 uh, percent, federal, state, and local. But look, Bob Rice, here's what's missing. Maybe Mr. Obama just forgot it in his presentation today. Maybe the teleprompter didn't include it in his uh, remarks. But the reality is, if you're going to take the loopholes away, not a bad idea. I can't stand corporate loopholes, Bob. Why not slash our business tax rate to 25% or lower? That's the part that's missing. You want to take the well, loopholes out? Let's have a, but, 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 Larry, Fine. Let's have but a legitimate, let's let's have a legitimate debate. Down. Otherwise, we're let's all going to China, Bob. About that. The rate in China is 15 to 20%, Robert. Our corporate income taxes, actually, the effective rate keeps on going down. The effective rate not right anymore, now is 18. Not anymore, not after this yes, bill. Yes, it's, 
it's a wait a minute wait a minute right now it's 18.6 percent but look at larry it's the big corporation i mean uh, citigroup has four thousand foreign subsidiaries do you think that citigroup is actually using most of those subsidiaries to earn a lot of money actually, no, I, no no i'm no. going to make the I, case I think, that they have branches I think and citigroup, atm machines everywhere uh, they, they have they have branches companies do but you know as well as world. i do they are playing a lot of games. Now, look at it. It's the big corporations that are doing this. Middle-sized and small companies, they're not doing it. It is an unfair system. I mean, if you want to reduce the corporate income tax, do it across the board. Don't do it just for the big players that right, can so afford Dan Mitchell, this kind of gamesmanship. How about all the C-Corps and the S-Corps, large and small businesses? Let's whack that top rate down to 20%, Dan Mitchell. Then all this stuff, investments will flow. We'll have repatriation. Jobs will be created, and we can still have free trade. I'm going to give you the last word. We need a corporate tax rate at least as low as 15%, and we need territorial taxation. Stop trying to tax things that occur in other countries. That's why every well, tax who's reform going to pay the plan, difference? every Dan, tax who's reform going to pay plan, the even where the do, flat tax, they're all Where do the revenues come from? Bro, How about let's reduce more? the size of government? <laughs> Bush increased government from $1.8 to $3.5 right. <laughs> Let's go back to where government Bob was Rice, under Clinton. You know, Bob Rice, you know what I'm going to say, growth. But we're going to debate that in the final segments on Mr. Jack Kemp. Dan Mitchell, I appreciate it. Double duty on the network today. Robert Rice, as always.